coming to its own. Tonight, we are excited to welcome Sarah Tuttle Singer, the new media editor for the Times of Israel. Sarah frequently writes commentary about current events in Israel, and often from the unique perspective of an American immigrant to the Jewish state. This evening, we've invited her to share some of her thoughts on where Israel is today and what the future could look like. Zionism, as a movement, has been tarnished by a public opinion that doesn't understand what it's trying to achieve. Our generation can take the reins of Zionism. We can partner and support our brothers and sisters in Israel as they continue to build the state of Israel. Please join us in welcoming Sarah Tuttle Singer for some reflection and inspiration on the future of Zionism. I want to tell you about my Israel, my blossoming, resilient, compassionate, progressive, and brave Israel. My Israel are the farmers who speak Hebrew and the farmers who speak Arabic, who work the land with steady hands and just want to see things grow. My Israel are the rabbis for human rights who cross checkpoints to plant olive trees alongside Palestinians. My Israel is the woman who works on Diesengolf and owns a flower shop, and she donates flowers to the victims of terror. My Israel are the children who plant trees on Tubishvat, hoping that one day, maybe, they will get to use the branches from those very trees to hold their wedding canopy when they get married. My Israel is an old woman who plants a seed deep into the earth, knowing that she will never see it grow beyond a dark green shoot but she plants it anyway because she has a granddaughter and she knows that one day her granddaughter's granddaughter will gather figs and taste how sweet they are. My Israel is rolling fields of cactus, of clementines, it's sunflowers in June, it's poppies blooming red when the rains fall in winter. My Israel, my Israel is lupine in the spring, it's jasmine blooming on a summer night. My Israel is also tumbleweed, rough and ragged and rolling past, a constant reminder to appreciate the earth when it turns green again. It will turn green again. It always turns green again. My Israel are the three kids who say, screw it, we are not going to Algebra 2 today, we are going to the beach. Because these kids know These kids know that sometimes you can learn more outside of the classroom than inside the classroom. <laughs> My Israel is the old man with the number tattooed on his arm and he wakes up every single morning at sunrise and he runs in the park because he's going to train for that marathon even though he is 87 years old. My Israel is the single mom the single mom who works two jobs and goes to pharmacy school and she races home every night to tuck her kids in, sing to them the same song that her mother once sang to her. And then she drinks two cups of coffee and sits down and begins studying for her chemistry final. My Israel, my Israel is compassionate. My Israel is the bus driver who pulls over in the middle of a winter storm and sees the woman by the side of the road and says, get in, ride for free. My Israel is the taxi driver who took my children and me to the hospital when my son couldn't breathe. And instead of accepting payment for the ride, he said, no, I won't take your money. Let me give you a blessing for your son. My Israel are the men and the women who drive in frigid cold temperatures all the way to army bases with tureens of soup, of hot chocolate, of coffee to give to the soldiers. Because those soldiers are out there in the storm too, defending the country. My Israel is the doctor who hears about Hurricane Katrina and he gets on a plane without, without thinking about anything else. He gets on that plane because he wants to rebuild a city and heal the injured. My Israel are the volunteers who are the first ones in and the last ones out because we remember the flood. We remember the flood and we look for that olive branch. My Israel. My Israel is the soldier who gets up on the bus, even though he's tired, even though it's crowded, he gets up and he gives his seat to the pregnant woman with the hijab. My Israel is the old man in the kafia 
who drops coins into a beggar's cup by the Jerusalem bus station. My Israel are the human rights workers who spend their lives and in many cases risk their lives defending the disenfranchised, the downtrodden, regardless of background. My Israel sees possibility. My Israel is Shlomit and Moshe and Suha and Muhammad who send their children to a mixed Jewish and Arab school at Neve Shalom Wahat al Salam, oasis of peace. And my Israel are their two children who play together at recess and share snack. My Israel is the Sheikh at the Mount of Olives who welcomes weary travelers regardless of their background, regardless of their religion, so long as they come with an open mind and more importantly, so long as they come with an open heart. My Israel are those two women who are kissing in the middle of the street in Tel Aviv. My Israel are the two men who have adopted their first son and they welcome him into the tribe with family and friends to bear witness. My Israel is that punk fool kid who barely finished high school, who gets his act together and starts a company. My Israel will make the desert bloom. We will develop drip line irrigation systems. We will create new power grids for new communities, for families. My Israel is a rabbi, a priest, and an imam who walk into a cafe. And no, this is not the beginning of a joke. It's the beginning of a conversation about God and the beginning of a friendship. And my Israel will show up even when it's uncomfortable, even when it's hard, even when it sucks and it's painful and it's scary. My Israel will go to a mosque that had been desecrated by Jewish extremists because we know that the expression Kol Israel Aravim Zelazeh, all of Israel is responsible for one another, that does not just mean we have to have each other's backs. It means we must take responsibility for the mistakes of our own people. My Israel are the parents who show up to a demonstration with their children even though it's hot, even though it's late at night, even though it's crowded, they show up anyway because it's important. They want their children to see what change can look like. My Israel are the people who plant flowers in front of bomb shelters, who paint flowers inside bomb shelters so that the kids will not be afraid. My Israel will run toward a terror attack and not away from it because they want to heal. They want to save lives. That's my Israel, my beautiful Israel. But I'll tell you something, sometimes my Israel drives me up the freaking wall. It is loud, it, is, it complains, it's aggressive, it pushes and shoves. Don't even try to wait in line in Israel, it's a nightmare. Sometimes my Israel makes me wanna tear my hair out and just go away somewhere, sit on an uncomplicated hill, watch the sunset. Because sometimes my Israel struggles, sometimes my Israel forgets its place in history and makes mistakes and we forget where we've been and more importantly, we forget where we need to go. But my Israel is so much more than that. My Israel is a work in progress. And just as Jacob wrestled with God to become Israel, so do we in Israel wrestle with our identity because we are a young nation built on an ancient dream. And sometimes I'm afraid for my Israel that the forces of bigotry, of intolerance and extremism that exist will make the Israel that I love disappear. But then I look at, out at all of you and I see your compassion, I see your commitment, I see your courage and I know we'll get it right. Because my Israel gets tears in its eyes when we stand and we sing Hatikva. Because my Israel is hope. Thank you very much.